it was the power prayer series this term. So many of you guys have grown so much in your prayer lives with God. It's a real inspiration to all the leaders and your parents. Okay? I wanted to tell you how good God is, right? So, because this is going to be the last Sunday of the term before the holidays. And in my mind, I was thinking, oh, it'd be so cool to do communion with all the kids in the room together. We've never done that before. Anyway, bam, coronavirus hit and we couldn't do it, all right? But this week, I was talking to Pastor Dan and he mentioned to me that he was actually going to be doing communion anyway for Hope at Home. So you guys get to do it anyway with your own families in your own homes, okay? So I really encourage you, if you haven't done it already, participate in it and really like think about God and the sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross. This week, I really wanted to talk about giving back to God. So you might have already participated in communion, okay? And that's all about honouring Jesus and dying on the cross for us. So now, what can we do to give back to God? You're probably wondering why these french fries are on the table, right? Well, who doesn't love a good french fry? I tell you what, I could literally, I could eat these all day. They're a really good snack, they're so hot, so salty, crispy, oh, couldn't get enough of them. Anyway, I'm not here to eat french fries on the table. Have you heard of the french fry tax before? Probably not, let me explain. Have you ever gone out to Macca's with your family, okay? You go to Macca's, you go inside, and you might order a Happy Meal, okay? And in your Happy Meal, you get some French fries. Anyway, you go and sit down at a table as a family. Next minute, your mum or dad reaches over to your French fries, steals one out, and eats it. Has that ever happened to you? Happened to me all the time as a kid. My mum still does it. It's crazy. Why do they do it? They're your french fries, right? Or are they? Who actually paid for that french fry? I think your mum and dad did. So in actual fact, that french fry that they stole was actually theirs to begin with. So the french fry tax, it kind of reminds me of the blessings that we get from the Lord. They're not necessarily ours, but they're gifts from God. And God really wants us to use those gifts for a greater advantage. And he really wants us to give generously. I managed to nab a Adventureland kid, and she's going to read a really cool Bible verse. Thanks. Remember this saying, a few seeds make a small harvest, but a lot of seeds make a big harvest. Each of you remember must make up your own mind about how much to give. But don't feel sorry that you must give and don't feel that you're forced to give. God loves people who love to give. God can bless you with everything you need and you'll always have more than enough to do all kinds of good things for others. 2 Corinthians 9, 6 to 8. So, I'd like to throw out a bit of a challenge to you guys this week. So pretty much we're all virtually stuck at homes at the moment, but that doesn't mean we can't be generous, right? Have you got any savings or pocket money that I've tucked away? Maybe this week you could use some of that. You could see if your mum or dad could take you to the shop. You could buy a really nice card. Okay, you could write a really nice message on it and slip it under your neighbor's doorstep. Or well, what are some other ideas? You could use some of the pocket money and maybe buy your brother or sister something really nice. Okay, if you have any cool ideas on how you can be generous and give cheerfully this week, please let me know, I'd love to hear. Okay, my email address again is right here. It's matt at hopecbc.org.au. I really look forward to hearing from you guys about how you've been generous this week. As always, if you've got any other stories or testimonies that you'd love to share, please email me, okay? I'd love to share them with other people. I love you guys. Have an awesome week.